Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor. It is Monday on day one of uh, Dr. Brian Abasalo's first day of training here, and we're doing a orthopedic neurological test and his very first adjustment here. So we're gonna video that for him so he can learn from that. So the first thing we do is compress you here. Does that cause any pain or discomfort anywhere? A little discomfort, like lower, okay. lower base. And see, it's important to add that discomfort because they may not have pain, but it might have been uncomfortable for them. So you wanna know about that too, right? All right. So this, now maximum foramen of compression, does that feel anything yeah, on that Yeah, same one? spot. Okay. And how about we go this way? Not as bad. Did any of that shoot dead into your arms further than here? No, no, not at all. Okay, good. Let's take your head to the right. Does that cause any tightness? Mm, slight Just stretch. A stretch. Yeah. Okay, how about this side? A little tighter? A little tighter, yeah. Oh, it's a little tighter. Yeah. So as I'm lifting up on your skull, does that feel better, same, or worse to your spine? Better. Oh, you're going to love me then. <laughs> I'm going to push down. I'd like for you to resist. There you go. Same thing over here. Resist. There you go. Just relax this in my hand. There we go. See, I didn't move one bit. All right. Cradle it, so you got the weight. So you get a better reflex. You can actually feel the, you can see the reflexes better. Now, I don't do those muscle tests on the legs and feet unless I see a positive, like you saw me do those uh, tests when I write it had a negative reflex yeah, yeah, on that right yeah. That one. Then was, I tested was, him further. He wasn't going on the right. He was in, yeah, but he didn't have any weakness, so. Right, okay. He probably injured his, well, he'd had surgery already on his right knee, right? Right, is that what we said? Yeah. Okay, yeah, and what, so, what was the test that you did to? Well, just a reflex, patellar reflex. But it wasn't? You didn't, I you didn't feel get the a reflex, reflex right? So, so what that's you why I tested, like, push, oh, okay. pull up, turn in, turn out. Right. What have I just tested? Muscle All tests. the lumbar nerves. Right. Okay. Got yeah. it. Or, you know, positive toe walk and heel walk. If I watch them walk back here and they're dragging a foot, I'm making them do the three steps on their tiptoes and three steps on their heels. Got it. Because if they have foot drop and they have loss of bladder malfunction, let's say, is that a contraindication to adjusting him? It's Cali Aquino. Right? Um, no. Not necessarily, no. No, but there is a clinical protocol that you have to follow to remain compliant for all my practice stuff, and that is you have to Seven refer to a neurosurgeon for a neurosurgical consult. Got and it. you document that in your chart. And then if they, if they have an emergency a, room situation? No, or no, that's just a neurosurgeon. neurosurgeon. Console. We have one that we work with that we refer to. So, I used to have a guy that I knew real well that I referred to. And he was great, but he retired. So, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, found a new guy. So, the next thing I'll do is check the posture. I'm gonna have you stand right here now, Brian, facing here. Been waiting for one of these for a while. So, I would like for you to close your eyes and bend your head forward all the way. Does that pull anywhere, Brian? Mm, not really. Maybe a little bit on the upper trap base. Like right back. Here? Yeah. How about when you go backwards all the way? Does that kink up anywhere? Uh, not really. Okay, and then back to neutral for me with your eyes closed. Your posture is actually pretty good. I feel like I should be. No, we just relax though. I want you in your relaxed posture. Okay, so when you open your eyes, don't move. Just look in the mirror. You've got just a little bit of forward head posture, but not a lot. Here's your ear here, actually. That's pretty close. So your hands are more, you're still out in front of you though, so you do yeah. have some forward posture. Yeah. yeah. Now down here, look in the mirror, don't move your arms. See how they have less space here than you do over here? Yep. So your pelvis has translated to the left on the x-axis as well. So and I, I get, just write all that down. And I get pain. The low back. That's like probably on what's the right side that. more than anything. That's probably what's causing that, that yeah. pelvic translation. Right. So then I'm going to have you lay on your stomach and I'm going to check your leg length. And Palpate your pelvis and your spine. You know, so I always tell patients what I'm going to do before I do it. Yeah. That's important too because they don't get any surprises. At this point, these are still just tests. His left leg is shorter by about a quarter of an inch in this prone position. 
Now, when I bring your legs up, it actually gets longer by a quarter of an inch. Does that tighten up in your low back and your thighs a bit? Right there. Okay. Not so much my thighs. Okay. So he's got a sacral deviation right there and a little SI right there, but this one's worse. And then there's L5, that's out. L4, L3 is also hypertonic on this right side. You, know, you got a lot of thoracic and ribcage subluxations. Do you ever hear your ribs popping when you stretch your yarn and do a bitch press? Yeah, I actually feel like I need it. Mm -hmm, you do. Uh, you got cervical uh, right there, yeah, right there, yeah. and a little bit there even. Lock this leg straight for me, please, Brian. Lift that entire right leg up. Does that tighten up here or cramp up up here at all? It's, it's stressful, but not... No pain yeah, or tightness? Uh, a little bit on the right. Like um, the down here again, same yeah, area? Right there. Okay, back. Now do this side, please. How about this side comparatively? Not as bad. Well, you'll see on the video, this leg didn't come up as high, so that's a right sacral deviation here, and that's your main subluxation that you have in your pelvis. But you have subluxations in the lumbar spine, thoracic spine, and ribcage, and your cervical spine. Subluxation just means biomechanical impropriety. The adjacent bones are articulating with each other properly. You notice I don't say misaligned. All right. The old bottle of subluxation was bone out of place, crushing a nerve. That no longer is scientifically valid. So you said spinal segment dysfunction. Segment dysfunction. Yes. Okay. Biomechanical improprieties. So I'm going to adjust you on this table uh, first if you would like to get your first adjustment here today. Yes, sir. And I always get written consent and verbal consent. So you're going to feel the table moving underneath of you. Some of these might be a little sore at first just because they've been out for a while. Now your right sacrum was deviated, so I'm going to adjust that first. Center sacrum. Left sacrum. Right SI, you see the line drive? Mm -hmm. Out. And then left SI. You're gonna feel this one the most. That's L5, P day, L4, L3, L2, L1. Yeah. Go ahead and let your arms drop all the way down for me. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bust this concrete up on the ring here. Cause that's why most people are coming to see you. It's gonna be anyway, ring there. Right. So your legs are even now. This should feel a little easier in your low back, but you tell me. Yeah. Not quite as tight? Not as bad on the right. Okay, good. You're gonna feel your head popping up next. And I tell them this because if you surprise them with this and the head piece drops up and they aren't thinking about it, Oh, C6, C4, I mean, C6, T2. Now let's turn you on your back. Something's going on with this hip piece. You okay? Yeah, that L5 drop. Yeah. It's deep. Mm-hmm. So see how I'm lifting up? Up and down. You get close in on the zygomatic, because if you get out here, you'll jam their DMJs and it'll hurt. So it's a lift up and then extend. Slide down this way about two inches. There you go. Now put both arms out like this for me, please. So contact is here, fleshy, and it's the acromion. Because what are we trying to do here? Separate the AC joint uh -huh. for what neurological purpose? Separate the AC joint? What so neurological the nerve, purpose? So the nerve A fair and impulse and proprioception. Oh, the brain. Yep. Clavicles, see how they're lateral, anterior ribs, lateral. Good, okay, you can relax your hands right there. Nice and easy, just breathe. <laughs> that wasn't all that one. There we go. Did you feel that from your D all the way up to your low back? Yeah, I've got a little, a little ankle, ankle there too. too. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh. So see, I'm gripping the ankle with my thighs. With the thighs, yeah. Bringing it to tension. Oh. And then you hit it. You feel that one a little deeper? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, let's sit you up sideways, face oh. out that one, please. You okay? Woo wee. Yeah. I haven't been adjusted like this ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
you got more muscles than most of our patients. You still lifting? Yeah. There we go. All right, let's come over on this table next, Brian. So first timers, I'm gonna decompress your entire spine from your skull all the way down to your pelvis with this one adjustment. I might have you lay on this table on your back with your butt right here and head up this way. Okay, just let your legs relax. The table's gonna lift them up. How high do you usually go? Okay, you the, the key for this is to have the lower legs parallel with the table. Parallel with the table, guys. Because these aren't 90 degrees. You can't say you have the femurs at 90 degrees because they're not. That's probably 70 the, degrees. So about the tibia, the, yeah, it has to be parallel. Got it. But I'm probably going to lift them up a little bit more because when I put the pins in, it makes a difference. So go ahead and lay back. Go ahead and lay your head all the way back. So these are going to feel really tight, and they're supposed to. You notice I'm telling patients that every time, too. Okay. Oh, shit. Yep. <laughs> Not going to get away now. Oh, that's really tight. Okay. Yep. Okay, yeah. You want to keep your teeth together, Brian, so you don't bite your tongue. You don't need to clench them, just keep them together. Deep breath in through your nose. There. You got it that time. Oh my God. Well, how far down did you feel that one? I felt that in my soul. Yeah. <laughs> and no, I felt that. Kicking. I felt it in my lower back. Yeah, good. I so felt like that kicking. disc. Yeah, well, it just decompressed everything in your entire spine. Plus, it adjusts all 12 ribs simultaneously. I, I needed my ribs, yeah. yeah. And then, just let your head go in my hands. Same thing, bring it to tension. And you hit it. I like doing a little bit more of a PDA, but I'll put a little rotation in it. Too. And some people don't do it at all. Right. Is the worst part. Yeah, it is. So you're going to be sore for about 72 hours after this first adjustment. Kind of like if you went to the gym and worked oh, yeah. out real hard for yeah. the first time in a long time, you sore afterwards. Can I That's work out this, tonight? Yeah, Wait. absolutely. Okay. We help you up here. Bring your legs over, get up sideways always. Woo! Yeah. Like I said, you're going to be sore, so don't get freaked out when you get sore. Crushed ice. Wow. We're gonna give you a plastic bag. You just get some ice and crush. A one. A one. Here, I'm oh, not we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. But look at your posture already, though. Look what that did here. I'm, I'm six three now. From well, six pretty two. much. Yeah. <laughs> That's really. Look at your head posture. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna flex this forward. Now keep pressure on this while you're doing this. Watch how much more range of motion I get as I'm doing this. You feel it? Mm -hmm. You work your way back up. You're tight right in that lower thoracic there. Same as most chiropractors. And they'll never go up beyond T1. So this is your homework, Brian. Your head's forward, which is kind of pulling your shoulders forward, right. stretching out the rest of your spine, just to hold your head up in gravity. So shoulders up and back. Shrug them all the way up to your ear. Shrug your shoulders up. And now flare them this way while your shoulders are up. Here's the hard part. Your head's forward, Z. So we want to go backwards, Z, and then look back at the wall behind you. You're going to feel a little tap on your atlas there. And there, now relax. Now, bend your head forward and backwards again. Tell me if you feel any difference in that yet. Yeah, a little better motion. Should feel smoother. Yep. We'll take a look in the mirror. You're not translated anymore. Woo. Shoulders squared off nicely. Yeah. Come look at it from the side here so you can see his lateral posture. See, you're, you're staying that way naturally. Right. You're not having to think about it. Right. Which that's the really cool thing. So I was I was uh, watching that you were mentioning people's little hump. Mm -hmm. have people come in. That's always do that forward head posture. And they always want to. You get a little hyperkyphosis in the right. thoracic there. Right. Uh. I always tell patients they're going to be sore every time. Seventy-two hours. Because if you don't tell them that, and they go home and they feel like shit the next morning, you're gonna who's going to get yeah for hurting them. They're gonna say you hurt them. Right. So if you tell them they're gonna be sore. I expect it. All right. Okay. 
Okay. And the exercise is? 15 reps three back, times a day. Translate. Translate, yeah, good. Yeah, that was perfect. And just relax, do it again. Yeah, exactly. You want to start over from neutral every time. Okay. And then uh, when you leave the office, before you sit down anywhere, including your car to go home, 10 minute brisk walking, we recommend just doing it on the floor as fast as you can walk with your arms moving freely like a fast walker race. Okay. We can reteach your brain how to hold your spine in this new position quicker. Right. This is a cross crawl exercise. Your right arm comes out same time your left leg does and vice versa. Right. So you're getting crossover into neurology. And it will help your brain to yeah. adapt quicker to this new biomechanics that we just put you in. I feel like there's a lot of things going on in my there body. There is a right lot of things going on. Like blood flow, yeah. like <laughs> just energy just yeah. flowing right now. But my lower back, which is actually was hurting me before. It's gonna be sore, but but I have no pain right now. That's great. It's crazy. Yeah. Wow. I mean I'm bringing this to LA, everyone. <laughs> Get ready. Yeah, I, I don't know why anyone else would want to do anything different than this, but that's to me. I'm prejudiced. I've been doing this a long time, but I've seen, you know, miraculous results with it over the years wow. too. Can't wait. Can't yeah, wait. Good stuff. <laughs> uh, do you have any questions for me before you leave for your first visit? Uh, no questions. What can I come working back, out, I guess? Working out sore. I mean, you go work out anytime you want to. You might be a yeah. little sore, but okay. you just stretch good. and Try not to do this because that will pull yeah. everything forward. Yeah. If you see them doing things, just remind them then. Gotcha. And if you do that a lot, or you see them putting their hands in their pockets all the time. Right. I just remind them of things because the more cognizant they are of their posture, yeah. Yeah. the better results you're going to get. Yeah, I'm constantly like doing like yeah, but you won't have rear to anymore. delts. Like you won't have this. to anymore. Yeah. This will fix it for you. Okay. And I'd go see uh, Sam out there as close as one to you. Okay. I wouldn't go every day. No? No. I don't send patients there anymore. Really? Just because we've had his patients come back here and say, you know, he just told me to go see him, and I did, and he just didn't do anything like what you do. They change it up trying to make their own thing out of it. Got it. Like he puts a towel in the microwave to warm it up. We're more like a spa here in L.A. We warm these towels up first. He said, Have you heard a patient bitch about this with cold, wet towel once today? It's the the opposite, yeah. yeah. Wow. So... <laughs> just just, just like remind this. them. I'm not getting on you. I'm just reminding you because right. I want you to get well and stay well. Yeah. Always is in the best interest of the patient. Gotcha. That was great. Do you have any questions? No. It was just so fast. Yeah. It was so fast. Well, it brings so attention and just hit it. Yeah. And I didn't feel it all the way down the first one, so I hit it again. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't ready for that second right. one. Right. <laughs> and, and I like it when you're not ready. Right. That's the best time to hit people. Yeah. Because when they're ready, you're going to be fighting it. They're going to be fighting. It's going to hurt more. Right. Say them when they're not, they're not least expected. So, are you ready to do your first one on me? Let's do it. Okay. Am just I doing like the whole, the whole setup or just the Let's just do the ring dinner for okay. me today. Okay. But bring it to tension and keep it at tension and just lean back into it. So it remember, tension, remember, it's tension. finesse, not power. Now, as far as the setup on the on the table like do you have like one leg behind the other do you keep sometimes like sometimes that? i'll be back on the heels on all of them sometimes i usually get in kind of a t stance martial arts stance kind of like this yeah okay and yeah, then i, I like but, more but see i still got my weight back so. you want to get your weight back though that's how you're going to bring it to tension to your weight more and then that's you just hit that high velocity line two thrusts right when you get it to tension and it'll go all the way down Here. All right. You are going to feel it's like a pressure. Just you are going to feel structurally different. Heidi Horvick, the researcher, uh -huh. she flew over here in December. Her and her husband from Auckland, New Zealand, just to get this done so she could present it as the right. RV. Where's the? How do you raise this thing? Okay, come over here. Oh. See that keypad? I have mine preset for one's a normal size Key like me. Pad. Oh, okay. Just hit the one. And it'll raise my legs up to parallel. And I'll show you how to set these tomorrow. It's pretty easy. Oh, it's going all the way. No, you're okay. Don't, don't let it down yet. Wait till you get the pins in first. And then put the done. Either one first. I always put this one first that way. 
you get a tighter, tighter grip when you pull it inside. Yeah, when you hear that click down in there, that means it's in there. Okay. Uh -huh. Good. Good job. Yep. Good there. I'm in there. Yep. All right, teeth together. Just wrap it tight. You're not going to choke people. Make sure it's down below that mastoid. And get a grip underneath here with all your fingers. <sighs> pretty good. One more? No, I'm no. pretty good on that one. Was that was that hard enough? No. Not hard enough? Uh-uh. Okay. And, and you kind of waffled on it. You got it there, but then you stopped on it. If you just kept going and hit it. It's really, you want to keep it in one fluid motion. You get these guys out first though, because these are always the pain in the ass for everybody, including me. I felt that down to my upper lumbar though. Okay. That's pretty good for your first attempt. So for example, would you give somebody a double dinger? If, if, it was if like I that? had felt that, yes. Okay. Just like I did you. I didn't feel your first one go all the way down either. So I hit it again. Right. When I mean, you weren't thinking about it. Right. Because sometimes people will tighten up on that first one, you know, so you got to catch them. I just watch people's breathing and go with my innate. I'm an innate adjuster. Stick with your innate until it will lead you right every time. Okay. So what would you, because I kind of just wanted to distract and then. Yeah, breathe the tension and then hit it. In breathe. one in one fluid motion. So would you say just like stretch, pull? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Once you get it to tension, when you feel it at tension, that's when you hit it. It's that simple for me. Breathe, tension, you hit it, done. So as far as your stance, your I, I don't, attention, I don't really even pay that much attention to my stance. You should watch my videos because that'll show you more about right. everything that I'm doing. Than anything. Right. So now two to lower. Now four goes all the way down. Four. And now watch it doesn't go all the way down where it hits that plate. You want to set it to where it's only about a quarter of an inch above that because if it hits that plate, it creates a uh, safety so, feature where the table stops and then you have to reset the whole table. Oh, no, okay. So if you keep it just above it, see how it's a little high? It's a little, just But a patients high. don't feel that. You can't feel that as a patient. Right. So it's not a problem. And I always help patients up on their first visit, teach them to get up sideways. All right. That's it, perfect, good job. Right. Yeah. The height. And then I always check to see if you're okay. Are you okay? For right what? there. Why just always ask to pay your yoga? Oh, okay? are you okay there? Yeah, okay. yeah. And feel then good. I'll have some walk, walk up and down. Well, if they, if you don't feel like they're doing it right, I would just right. Okay. You know, because the the fast brisk walk is the really the topping on top of the cake that seals the deal in your brain. Right. We're we're wanting to change your neuroplasticity to readapt to this new configuration we just put in there. Okay. And the way you do that is through that cross crawl walk, it amplifies the neurology in the brain. Right. And where would you suggest the height of the table? For is you, I keep it all the way up. All the way up? Let Just like see. this. Is that as high as it goes? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'll raise the table up simultaneously with doing it because it distracts them. Now, I've seen some of your videos, like you kind of like, the, like the patient almost like comes up from the table a little bit. Is that okay? Or is it just supposed to be like it's straight supposed to on be like straight that? y-axis okay sometimes i guess i lift up but i don't see that very often i don't okay. feel that very often okay you don't want to put any angle in there that's not congruent with y-axis just straight on yeah because okay. y-axis is safe so it's only those y straps see they, they're putting you in they're flexion elevated. yeah and then the strap puts your spine in extension so you're getting flexion extension at the same time there's been a fracture at c5 c6 killed this person one time oh. on the y strap and I can only find one incident that actually somebody died of that. Okay. Feel good. But yeah. So come back over here. Okay. We always end our videos with. Uh, okay. This is day one of the seminar I just gave Doc his very first ring dinger ever. And he's out in Beverly Hills, California. Can you tell him your office telephone number and email address, or not email address, but your website so they can yeah, start it's, uh, scheduling appointments with you? It's Beverly Hills Disc and Laser Therapy Center. Our phone number is 323-272-4263. You can go to our website and check us out, all our services, which Ring Dinger is coming to the clinic uh, very soon. It's uh, www.bh.com 
as in Beverly Hills, disc, D-I-S-C, and A-N-D, laser.com, L-A-S-E-R. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he doesn't have his table yet. He should be getting his table probably in the next 30 to 60 days, according to our manufacturer. Excited. So he'll have that, but he's already accepting appointments and can schedule you, pre-schedule you to get your ring dinger out in Los Angeles area and all the West Coast, really, for that yeah, matter. Absolutely. Northeast, Southeast, every or Southeast. Fly in if you need to, yeah. whatever whatever you want. How close are you to what airport should they fly into? Uh, probably a little closer to Burbank, but LAX, probably I'm like dead center, so okay. right in the middle. Either one, yeah, Burbank either one. or LAX. Either one. Yeah, and he's right there in Beverly Hills. Uh, what's the exact? Town name? What's uh, city? Colbert? Technically, it's Los Angeles, uh -huh. but I'm like, literally, I can see the Beverly Hills sign from my okay. window. Yeah. No. He's Hollywood. I'm Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, we're ha happy to have Dr. Hollywood here with us this week. How would you describe to the doctors who might be watching this about the first day experience here of what we do to prepare you? I feel like it's. It's, it looks complicated, but what you've told me all day is like simplify things and it's so effective. Mm -hmm. It's so effective yet so simple at the end of the day mm -hmm. and the adjustment is just so powerful. Like I've never experienced anything like that yeah. ever Nobody in my has. life. I mean, I've done the Y strap, I've done- It's a lot different you than know, the Y strap. towel, but. but very different from the Y strap. I mean, those pins are everything holding your hips down. And, and we're not just wrapping towels around people's necks right, and yanking right, on Right, them. right, right, right. No, there's a, there's a biomechanics element to this. Well, we always rule out contraindications to make sure it's safe for Contraindications, yeah, we've gone over all those today. And uh, looked at literature, scientific research yeah, on yeah, spontaneous yeah. cervical artery dissections and Dr. Heidi Horvick's work out of New Zealand Chiropractic College and her research is talking about neuroplasticity, neuroplasticity in the brain changes when you get a chiropractic adjustment. So every adjustment we make is actually changing the afferent impulses into the brain which affect your neuroplasticity. Then you get efferent messages sent out of your brain to your body. So you're really just recommunicating the brain with the yeah. body again. Yeah. And, and I, you I can literally physically feel, it. feel that. I feel it, I feel it. It's like. I don't know, like stars, like inside yeah. my body, or it's just almost like, orgasmic. Yeah, <laughs> not, not quite, not quite. Almost though, almost, almost. Yeah. That's what a lot of patients will say. Oh my God, they're like I just had sex. They sound like it sometimes <laughs> on those videos. <laughs> well, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and this is Dr. Abasolo. Come see me, Beverly Hills Disc and Laser Therapy Center. Yeah, and we'll see y'all for your ring diggers anytime here in Houston. But now we got a new. Certified team ring digger, doctor out in Los Angeles. He passes all his classes this week, which he's going good now, so he'll be fine. Appreciate you, Don. Yeah. Oh, Thank yeah. You. Welcome to team ring digger, man. Thank you. Yep. We'll see y'all soon.